this is yesterday's trading. The WPT trades are the most effective trade that you're going to get on the strat. Um, like I said, a lot of you guys are having success with the tick charts. You're finding good results with it on just automating it just with the tick. But if you notice, your your smallest risk on a trade is going to be this outer edge ATR. And so if you use an outer the outer edge ATR right here, that's that's your smallest risk you're going to get because you're looking for this market to turn right at this key ATR when you have an opposite color speed bar. So when you do turn both red and you're stair stepping down, the best time that I see that the market's really starting to get a lot of movement are a couple characteristics. You're breaking through symmetry and you're breaking through the lower ATR. So once you break through symmetry or symmetry dots and the lower ATR with speed, if you get speed bars going through, uh, if you're in a downtrend and you break through your sim dots, that's indicating weakness and through the second ATR. So if the market bounces back or gets a nice retracement, this is an opt optimal time to look for a setup. Right when you come back up to the outer ATR, if you see an opposite color speed bar, that is a potential top. Now, what I've been noticing, and a lot of traders notice, the best ones, you'll see divergence down here also. You're setting a higher high and a lower lower high. So you're setting a higher high in price, lower high in oscillator. So that's another way you can tell if you're really getting into uh, resistance and you're going to see a rollover. But the key is you want to see speed going through those symmetry dots. The ones that typically fail, if you notice, are if you're just going sideways, yellow dot, sideways, 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 and then it comes back up, goes back down, comes back up. But you never really get a breakthrough of the sim dots or the second ATR, the, the shorter term ATR. So if that happens, you got speed and you look for the retracement. The same thing here. You notice that we broke through the sim dots with speed again, and we broke through the lower ATR. Now notice how you really got a lot of speed coming down again. You're in trend, and then we come back up and touch the upper ATR yesterday. Another really good opportunity for a high probability trade. Look at the divergence, really big divergence there. You had a higher high in price, real lower high in oscillator. So another one, and then you, again, you break through symmetry with speed bars, all red. That's another positive indication that you're going to get a nice little WPT, catch the rolling position traders. You wait for the opposite color speed bar to pop back up into the resistance, and then there you go again. So these, I'll go over tomorrow in the conference call. I'm going to show you how to look to turn the program on on the automated feature on getting into setups like this versus today for example we are flat the market is so so flat here this morning we are going sideways so um, we had one I think one setup here this morning what was it you had a one setup here on the strat it was a buy setup but only the first target hit runner got stopped out but I'll show you tomorrow um, we'll, we'll, we'll go over tomorrow the um, not only how to look for these WPTs but sort of try to automate these WPTs also and you can see what how, how we can how we can do that